archives of ANTI, main navigation towards illumination. MAI, lead to depth and steward of lost us. On this channel, we delve beyond the veil of mundane realities to retrieve profound mysteries. Join us. So, welcome, welcome, welcome. Today we're talking about emotional awareness. Emotional awareness. And my brand to fight emotional, not a fight emotional voice, fight mind control. And the only way you're going to be able to know that you're being mind controlled is if you're aware of your emotions, uh, aware of how you feel, aware of what's making you angry, aware of what's making you sad, happy, joyous. So I'm building this brand called Anti, and what is the first thing I have for anti was called uh, anti-negative thoughts incorporated something like that but then I kicked it into anti and now I got a navigation towards illumination which I like better and so anti is to help people become aware of their emotions of the core of themselves and I, I'm the I'm I'm the test subject of my own product, you know. So basically, I have planned this out since three, four years ago. Ever since I started music, uh, I created the brand called LTL, Learn to Love. Well, I didn't make that up, but it came to my thoughts, and I like you know, LTL, Learn to Love, and that was big to me. And so by saying LTL learn to love, it grew me exponentially because I actually started to learn how to love. And I learned how to love myself properly and learn better. Uh, it's not always through discipline, not always through through uh, being a stoic of you know all these things that make you feel better about yourself. But it's, it's coming to the realization that you are who you are, you, you is who you is, you know? And it's a process, you know? You can't just snap your finger and change and you're this magical person who has all the charisma who has all these muscle gains who look better who feel better about themselves it's a process and so you really have to understand it's a process for you to have joy about yourself because uh even if you know even if you have a a, a wife a girlfriend a friend that's trying to make you you know boyfriend or husband trying to make you you know like uh, they're trying to put all these things on you they're trying to attach their idea of what a perfect person is to you right and it, in a way it's it's a form of love like this is my expectations this is what I want and it's okay to have expectations of another person but are they are are they the ones who's going to reach you know your expectations? And you have to realize that having expectations leads to disappointment. So you might you will be disappointed, you know, because they're your expectations. And so you can't always you know you just have to love the person for who they are and truthfully grow on that and be like, well, babe or baby, it's hurt me and so and so it is. You have to learn how to communicate properly. Uh, I feel like at the foundation of my brand is relationships, is love, is learning to love. That's the foundation of it because that's where all this stuff comes from. It's the foundation of love. It comes from somebody creating something and knowing how to cherish it. And so right now we're learning how to cherish ourselves and cherish creation. And you know I'm bucking up against society that's not really what this is for this is more of evolutionizing society right so i'm not i'm not going to tell the, the cheater you know that they are a bad person they deserve to be humiliated for be for being a cheater because we all go through periods of ignorance periods of darkness and so i really have to take account that I could also you know I'm also coming from a background of being a womanizer you know like I'm looking at women in sexual ways and lust and I'm not really 
thinking about how this affected me or affecting my relationship with a person. So my foundation is learning to love and knowing how to love yourself and knowing that the thoughts in your head plays a big factor into what people you know feel about you because whatever thoughts are in your head that's the vibe you're gonna carry around all day all right you're gonna carry around anger disappointment because that's what you're thinking all day so you gotta know how to clean that stuff out which is something i do i, I figure out how to because same thing with anxiety you know like I got a lot of it, but at the same time, I learned how to conquer anxiety because the only thing it is is just, I got this, I got, I got, it's making you wary and frustrated. So anxiety comes from not really trusting on God. And so when you are worrying about something, first thing I try to do is like, okay, God, what should I do? First thing I'm, God, God, because I'm trying to, you know, I know it's something bigger than me. This whole reality is bigger than me, you know, but I'm, I can, I can navigate I can move in it, you know, I can I can be a vessel of God if I allow myself to be. So it's it's much more it's much more effort it comes into changing yourself than try to change another person. So really it all boils down to changing yourself. When you focus on changing yourself, you're not really gonna be trying to focus on that person, what they're doing, how they how they treat you, how they react. You, you you can talk about it You can communicate it But you're not gonna be Hey, it's cool, bro Because you're your own person I can't change you I can't do that Only thing I can do is Live my life And And if that's affecting you Some type of way Then honestly what What's the problem? You know? And so It's it's like It's like relationships is, is deep Because I'm glad For what God is giving me Because it's like if I didn't have nobody to keep me accountable, I wouldn't really care, bro. I wouldn't really care about how I talk to these people. I wouldn't really care how I treat these people. I can turn the most evilest person, but love has showed me that. Now, if you turn into this monster and then a person do comes around, you know, you're going to eat them, bro. You're going you're gonna to be hurtful towards them. You're going to do all these things, and it's not really good, you know? And that's on the fact of, do you really care? Do you really care of how you hurt, how you affect another person? And if you don't, well, then God will deal with you. Because God say, treat your brothers, treat your sisters how you want to be treated. Right? Treat them, treat your neighbors how you want to be treated. So if you don't care for the next person, expect them to care for you. What 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 are you thinking about? You know, what what is your options? And it goes a lot deeper because I I'm a very deep person, very thoughtful. I, I'm very deep, and so my my sense of care is a lot different from somebody else's sense of care. I think about internally, this is what you need, but they come into me externally, and I feel like that's not me. That's not that's not even the person who I am. I'm a deep person. I don't care about none of this. I've, I've been I've been waiting, hands open, waiting for God to just. Bestow blessings on my life, but I also been working towards it by making these videos. Like I'm not just praying God. No, I'm working, working, moving, stepping to it. This is how I work. This is what I do. This is my thoughts. You know, philosophies. They they get paid at some point. They help society at some point. So this is what I do. And especially as a black man, I have to be a good example because it's a lot of black children lost, especially in their household. Of you know, it ain't, it ain't really good communication. So I had to be on top of my game, but I have to make sure I tell the truth of everything that I'm going through because this is what society is doing. They're trying to make, this is what I was thinking yesterday. You know, society, they say this is the problem, but that's not really the problem. The problem is far deeper than what they say is the problem. Like they say, well, an example is like job, you know, like people working jobs, The you know, the, the problem is the people don't want to work the jobs it's not the problem the problem is society is 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 cutting too much it's dilute, diluting too much of the economic it, it, it's too uh, uh inflated and so the problem is people work and they don't feel like they appreciate it for their work especially because of how the jobs are developing this cult mindset like they're trying to pull you in and they're trying to make you stay for reasons of work and for benefit and it's not a truth or a genuine thing they want to see you grow not saying all jobs are like that but mostly mostly jobs just want to see you work and and see you work that's it that's and that's all they just want their profit and that's not that's not life that's not what life is about 
If we, if we was, if, if that, if that's how I started from the get go, we'd have been destroyed ourselves. We have to learn how to value ourselves and value other people and value community to even grow, to even make this community. Now, this society is built on slavery, built on hatred, built on, on immoral stuff, built on going behind somebody's back, built on lies. This society is built on that. And so it's going to always try to find a way to hurt somebody of truth. It's going to always, because if you turn into a person that has to operate in society like lying or stealing or cheating or doing all these things or manipulating somebody to, to fit you in society, now you're being a part of the beast. And I'm being honest because God says set yourself apart from this world. Set yourself apart from this mindset of the world. And so it's it's hard. It's a hard thing to do because if I didn't have the support, I'd probably be, I don't know. I don't know where I would be. I, I would probably be, um, I don't know. That's like saying if I didn't have my mom and dad, really. I grew up in this. This is this is what I, I, I did. But now it's time for me to grow and to have more knowledge and more experience of life. And so, what, what was I about to say? I was about to say something very important. If I didn't have a support system, I was about, I, I don't know. I like... I wouldn't steal. I wouldn't sell drugs. I would do none of that. I would steal. I would try to work the best I can. And if not, so be it. Death, death is a release from this fucked up society. People want to say it's good. It's great. It's 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 cool. It's cool when you know how to value God. And that's the only time. When when other is okay, you happy, then you sad. Then you happy, then you sad. That's I don't like that bullshit. Because honestly, this what society is truly doing is putting labels 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 on people and labels that and label this so it can separate and categorize and make people feel separate you know for things that that's not really separate it's it's that's that's happening to me too like i, I hate when people talk about mental issues and i know it's an emotional is, issue that you're going through because it's mental mental is all from your emotions all from your heart it's what have what happened to you you know why do you have this mental issue why do you have this this issue that you can't get past because it's a heart issue it's an emotional issue because in reality you got to fight through your mental with your emotions you got to know that's not for me i'm not thinking like that so what if they did that that's that's an emotion issue you know it's not it's not a mental uh mental disability it's emotion it all boils down to emotion how did this person make me feel how did that make me feel it was very traumatic and that's what therapy really goes about it goes about unlocking how did it make you feel Right, and then it's also telling you that it's okay to feel like that because that you know, and so a lot of this stuff in society, it's not all bad. That's not the message I'm trying to have, but we need to know how to value it correctly. You know, we need to know how to value this stuff correctly. And yeah, okay, you know, like this—that's that's the thing that's been pressed on me, been so impressed that people trying to press the work, work, work. Society. This is work. This is a part of God's plan. This is a part of this is a part of work, and so be it. This is this is like me trying to get to the root of why people do the things they do. Why they have hatred? Why do they have love? Why do they have all these thoughts that that conflicts with another? That conflicts with self? That conflicts with society? This is what I'm trying to figure out because I know it can be better, especially with all this technology, AI coming out. Pretty soon stuff is going to be automated to the point where you ain't you ain't doing physical labor. You're going to be on the computer. You're trying to type the code, trying to figure out why did this AI fall? Because we're moving exponentially towards a futuristic society. And the fact that our character has to be more on point, our character has to be more, more sharp because our character is on display. Our character is the only thing that that God really looks for to see a change in is our character. It's not, it's not you know all the. He's looking for a change in our character, and he loves a good character. He loves a person that is, it has integrity, that has a, a responsibility, it has a sense of vigor towards them, you know. And this is what I'm trying to get to because it's an emotional thing that that the society tries to wear you down. Try to wear you down in your emotions. Tries to wear you down 
in your mental. It tries to wear you down in your soul. It tries to work on your spirituality. It tries to work on who, who God is to you. You know, they, they say, well, it's, it's, it's many gods. No. I mean, okay. It's okay, but they all come from one thing. They all come from one source. They all connected to one thing. It's called being a God. And the biggest thing of it is God is connected to all of them. So I don't, I don't understand what people have. Like, it's separate. It's separate. Because separation is an illusion. Separation is the biggest illusion there is. I'm not separate from anything I, I'm speaking about, anything I'm saying, any grossness. I am because I have to come from that. I have to, I have to live in that. You know, I, I'm not separate from the people that has millions of dollars. That I'm not separate from the billionaires. I'm not separate from the people in, in Africa. They still think like me. They still feel like me. They still bleed like me. I'm not separate. So where is this idea of separation coming from? That's the biggest illusion in reality. It's separation. And and this is what society tries to feed us that oh this person is bad because of this and that because of they did that. And, and because, uh, let's let's go down a mental list because they're schizophrenic, because they're bipolar, because they're uh uh uh, uh psy they cuz they're psycho because they're you know they they give you all these labels, all these labels. And here you go. You have you have the other people don't know any better about what these labels do to you? They just want to say it. They just want to speak because they don't. They don't know anything. They are ignorant. You know, they're still looking. They're probably not even looking. They're done looking. They're tired. They're tired. They don't want to look no more. They don't. They're not listening to God. So it's up to the God's chosen people to to really get in here and, and dig and dig for what the truth is because you have to study for approval. You just can't fly past it and and read it and think that's no no. Nah, it's gonna come back. It's gonna come back to test you, so you better make sure that you studied up, and that's the thing about it, because it's 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 an emotional thing. You gotta get yourself prepared emotionally, you know. All this all this all this talk about, you know, you you gotta. I, I I'm not listening. I'm not. I'm not. I'm only listening to God. I'm only listening to the person who gives me comfort, to the person who who respects me, to the person who loves me unconditionally. I'm not, I can't listen to all these these other voices who come with hatred and then love the next day and then I can't. What I'm, what I'm trying to listen to you for? What for? Who are you? What have you accomplished? And I'm not saying this to bring a person down, but I'm saying this. What what can you even if you are Bill Gates, okay? Um like Maybe you might give me some game, okay, this is how I made my first million dollars, but I still need to experience, I need to develop emotionally how to do that. Because you can listen to all these gurus, you can listen to all these uh, 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 yogis, you can listen to all these pastors, you can listen to all these uh, uh, evangelists, but this it's not going to do nothing for you because you have to get it emotionally. You have to know that feeling. You're like, ah, I understand. It's not me. I have to just put more effort in. I have to put more work in. I have to dedicate myself more. I have to apply myself more. And people will notice that this is who I am. And fuck the people. This is who I am. You know? And they ain't going to sit here and define me of, of, of who, who I am. Because this is what God said I should do. This is what God said I should move. How I should talk. How I should walk. So all that other stuff, all that noise, man, I, I, can't, I can't be scared. That's how the devil tries to... To, to play on your 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 life is being scared, you know. You scared to do, scared to go all out, scared to scared to move out, scared 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 for what? I'm not scared. I'm aware. I'm patient, and I know what God is gonna do in my life, and I know what I have to do. At the same time, I'm I'm my I'm highly confused because I don't want to do it. Why do people deserve to be forgiven? Why do people deserve to be Loved. I talk about this earlier. They don't deserve it, but at the same time, God said, "I will give it to them anyway," because that's who I am. And then eventually, through my love, my unconditional love, they will learn who I am. They have no choice but to respect me, hell or heaven. We have no choice but to respect me. It's it's all in the mind, bro. We gotta 
that, that's my brand is is focused around. You have to illuminate your mind. You know, people might say it's the third eye, but no, nah, you have to just recognize the light in you, and you can't let the darkness. You know, you can't even you can't even fight against the darkness because it's a part of you, right? It truly is a part of you. It's like a circumference around. I think of it kind of as the yin and the yang, because you know how you see the yin and it has a a dark in a, a dark circle in the middle. And you have the yang, and you also see a white circle in the middle. You can't separate them. They always meet up at some point. Can't separate the dark from the light because they need each other to define each other. That's the whole purpose of of po polarity. It's so they can define each other. That's where definition comes from. It's from polarity. This is what that is. That's what that is. So. I'm not saying that things aren't different, but I'm saying they're still connected and they're still single. And it's and that's what God is, is is doing, you know. He's he's making us more aware of our of our inner mind, our inner man, our inner soul, our inner spirit, you know. I could be I could be Man, I could literally, bro, like people don't like you don't understand, bro. Being being smart, being intelligent is not always the best thing for you. Because you have all these different thoughts, all these different awareness trying to come at you. Every, you have everything that's trying to come at you because you're smart. You're aware. You're more aware of things. So once you're more intelligent, you have way more battles to fight than a person who's just ignorant. And they love their ignorance. They folly in it. They're just, it's joyous to them. But if you're smart and aware, you know that you have to move. You got to do something. It's a spiritual warfare going on. And also in the physical, they're looking. But everything that transfers from the spiritual goes into the physical. So. But I want to lead this off by saying you should always be authentic and be truthful with yourself. And, and if you're not, that's okay. It takes time to really learn that. And to know that, okay, I'm not going to die if I say I did that. I'm not going to die if I told somebody about that. It's cool. And if you don't want to rock with me, you don't want to rock with me. Get away from me. That's like, what else What else you in my face for? What else you trying to talk to me, preach to me for? If you don't like how I do this, if you don't like... And it's not and it's not saying my way or the highway, but it's like, bro, I'm going through a process. Bro, I'm doing something. Bro, I'm trying to figure it out. I don't have the answers. I'm trying to figure it out. So if you're going to sit here and try to keep constantly poking me, Telling me about this and that, you ain't helping the situation. You ain't you ain't doing nothing to the situation. You making it worse. You you playing you being Satan's advocate, and that's that's the truth of it. Because that's how Satan comes in and to make people throw them off their path. They say all these things that you're not doing right. You're not doing this right. God ain't focused on that. He's focused on okay, come closer, come closer. Oh oh oh, hot cold. Come closer, come closer. You got it. Come closer. It, it, he's he's easing you in. The devil he's just gonna like. I got this, I got, you know, he, he's going to attempt, it's, it's so weird because you have to pay attention, you really do have to pay attention because the devil tries his hardest to mimic God, like I said earlier, the true hate, true hate is very deceptive, and it's going to look like love, it's going to look like, it's going to look like something that you can hold, it's going to look like compassion, it's going to look like, you know, maybe this person, no, but true hate is the most it's, it's the father of lies. I have to say it again. It's the most deceptive thing you can encounter. It's a way to take that power of hate is to understand what hate is. You have to understand how somebody is hating you. So, focusing on love, right? I did that. I learned to love. Now I have to understand hatred because I have to understand the counterpart of 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 love and what I'm going against because this is a spiritual warfare. You got people operating out of love, you got people operating out of hate. Big difference. But it looks it don't look like that. It don't feel like that sometimes. You know, but this is where you have to really rely on God. You have to really talk to God because you know it may look similar like like the wheats and the tares. It may look similar. It may feel similar. And to the end until that end result comes, until you until you know, that's why you gotta do it to the end. Wait till the end come. That's that, you know they all gonna show their face. That's when God he gonna pull the tears from the weeds, and they can't do nothing about it, because that's God has gave them plenty of time, 
And he still is probably gonna give him time after that. He's still gonna lottery pick. I don't know. I'm not I'm no, I'm not the judger. But when that time comes, I don't know if I should be sad or I should be happy. Because I feel like the people in my life are they may look like terrorists to me. They look like bad people. You know what? Even if they're bad people, I still want them around. Even if they're deceitful people, I still hope they can get it right. Even if they are liars, even if they are cheaters, I hope they can stop doing what they're doing. Even if they are drug addicts, I hope they can come from it and love themselves. Even if they're fornicators, even if they're angry all the time, even if they're uh, uh, bad, bad mouthing, even if they're doing all these sins, all these things to commit, I still hope that they can come. And I can forgive and I can love because that's what God has called me to do. He has called me to be like him, be in his image, walk like him. Talk like him. Love like him. This is what God has called us to do. Everybody to do. Man, this, that's all I want to say. And I haven't made a video in a while. And this video was really about branding and anti. But I'm on fire. I'm on fire for God. I truly am. And I just got to be patient. I got to be patient with myself. Even though what I'm going through or how I feel about myself, I gotta be patient. I gotta say that to the camera sometimes. I have to say that to the camera sometimes to actually get that in my life. I have to speak it into existence to actually get that fire going. So I'm thankful for the people who are watching my YouTube. So I'm thankful for the people who are commenting, who are leaving likes, who are saying keep going, who are sitting there learning from me because I appreciate that. It shows me that I, I am creating some type of value in somebody's life, I am creating some type of value. You know, it may, it may not be money yet, but I am creating value in life. And I appreciate you guys for allowing me and telling me that. So thank you.